So, we're in a boot. <laughs> glow on so anyway yeah look at that woodwork to talk a little bit about pirates. Um, I just read on a Facebook cruising and sailing page that there were some recent attacks on sailing vessels uh, off the coast of Panama and maybe like 10 or 20 nautical miles from where we're going. So um, I just want to talk a little bit about it. And the limited information, the information that was shared was pretty concerning, um, pretty shocking. Um, we've definitely been waking up in the middle of the night thinking about it. I know I certainly have. Uh, <laughs> so it, I've, I read it from the cruising group that I'm on, but I also fact-checked it a little bit on Noonsight, which is there's a, 
a website that cruisers report to. It's like a forum and there's a lot of information. And then there are, in 2019, there have been a number of pirate attacks in anchorages and specifically remote anchorages, but also common ones, lots of um, theft of dinghies, outboards, um, daytime break-ins. Yeah. So this latest one that happened just, I think a few days ago or a week ago, yeah. um, involved a Norwegian vessel, Norwegian flagged vessel getting attacked, boarded by eight armed men. And there were four men on board and two women. Um, the men, they didn't really say the extent of injuries or if injured, but the women were both raped. Um, and they were getting treated in a local hospital. A local hospital. So, yeah. Um. So I wanted to go over the security and access points we have on the boat that I'm concerned with. The companionway right now isn't really one of them with the exception of that little latch on the right hand side of the screen is how we lock it. So having another way of locking the companionway from the inside is definitely on a to-do list. Next thing is figuring out a different type of security for our really large hatches. We have five of them, one in the V-berth, two in the aft cabin, and then two in the septa area. They are covered right now, which is great, and when you open them up, they're pretty glazed over and hard to see through, but you can still see through them, same with the companionway. So that is the long and short of access points that people can fit through. Now there's the side ports, but those are way too small for any human to go through. It's a relatively small entrance and exit onto our boat compared to like the aft of a, of a catamaran. Um, <laughs> he's doing some <laughs> sanding, so he kind of looks like he's a robber. And then there's the other things we have on the boat. So all boats have fire extinguishers. There are plenty on this one. We could squirt it at people. And then there's spotlights. We're going to have bear spray and mace. We're going to have clubs and knives and things like that. Um, mostly just to be a deterrent. Now, of course, there are other things we could add to our collection. But first and foremost thing that we're going to do while we're sailing is we're gonna keep our wits about us and we're going to try to make this smart decision. It might be a beautiful anchorage, but if it's a remote anchorage and we're alone there, we may not stay. So anyway, let us know what you think and hit the like button. Thanks folks, bye. Mm. You taste like fish taco and smell like fart.